started with a cup of coffee in West Perth with a couple of blokes in August 2004. And that led on to a couple of agreements, which then led on to an IPO from which we raised four and a half million dollars. And within six months, there was three of us working out of a basement in West Perth. That was Atlas then and, and this is Atlas now. Through the hard work and commitment of a lot of very good people, we've grown into the multi-billion dollar organisation that we are today. We've developed and secured crucial infrastructure solutions, including a substantial Port Hedland Inner Harbour capacity that will allow us to expand and maximise the value of a billion tonne Pilbara DSO resource. In 2008, we commenced production at Pardu, our first operating mine located only 75 kilometres east of Port Hedland. And in 2010, as a result of a landmark infrastructure sharing agreement between Atlas Iron and Talison, we started our second mine at Wajina. Production is well underway and the project is now an integral part of our expansion plan. In 2012, we loaded out our 10 millionth tonne of iron ore. That's a major milestone, but it's just the beginning. With the people we have on board and the spirit that drives them, we are capable of achieving anything. I'm proud to have had a hand in the beginning of the Atlas story. And I'm incredibly proud of those who are helping to write the next chapter and making our dream of building a great Australian company a reality. At Atlas, our most valuable commodity is our people. What drives them are our core values and the Atlas spirit. Every member of the Atlas family has had a hand in our success. And without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Whether it's picking up the pieces after a cyclone and still managing to hit targets, finding creative solutions to so-called problems and barriers, getting our hands dirty together to open new minds, or the whole company downing tools for a day to come together and make a difference in the community. At Atlas, there's a real vibrancy and a desire to do the right thing and be the best. We embrace that and we empower everybody to help us make a difference. The land we mine and the communities who inhabit it have afforded us great opportunity and we are honour bound to repay that debt through the environmental and community work that we do. There's something special that happens to an individual when they give. When you do it as an organisation, it's exponentially greater and it has the power to change lives. We encourage all of our people to be actively involved in charity and community work. While we've paid millions of dollars in taxes and duties, our time is far more valuable. Because when you give of yourself, the rewards are just so much greater. We believe that Atlas wouldn't be as capable or resilient as we are, and we wouldn't have survived or thrived the way we have without having engaged with the communities and had a hand in making them better. Sometimes I pinch myself and wonder how it all came to be. We've just shipped our 10 millionth tonne to China and that's a fantastic achievement for the company. Today, the mines are operating at 6 million tonnes per annum, but we're looking forward to the next phase of growth, which takes our mine production to 12 million tonnes per annum by the end of 2013. It's been a remarkable journey, but it's only really just begun. There's no doubt in my mind where this company is headed. We have amazing people, a fantastic team in place, and we've been able to establish our minds and work systems to the point where we're truly globally competitive. There's strong acceptance of our product and substantial demand from existing and new customers. We have significant growth plans in place that are underpinned by a strong iron ore market, growing operating cash flows, low operating costs, and a robust balance sheet. It's a unique position to be in and an exciting time to be part of Atlas. As of June 2012, Atlas is currently exporting at a rate of 6 million tonnes per annum through our Pardu and Wajina mines. Through the expansion of Wajina, 
and the development of our other North Pilbara assets including Mount Dove by December 2012, Abydos in June 2013 and Mount Weber by December 2013, we're targeting 15 million tonnes per annum by 2015. One of our key areas of focus is on the development of an expanding logistics chain, including port and rail. This combined with the development of our McPhee Creek project, South East Pilbara assets, and future exploration success, it'll see us targeting 46 million tonnes per annum in 2017. As we continue to deliver ore to our expanding customer base, we'll continue to deliver even greater value to our shareholders. To get there, we need to work together and keep the indomitable Atlas spirit alive. If we can do that, the possibilities are endless and our goal to become a great Australian company that our families are proud of will continue to get closer every day.